A is for adventure. My bike is marketed as an adventure bike, capital A. Now this on its own doesn't mean much. Here's my old friend Ray. He passed away last year after a lifetime of lifelong and worldwide adventures, right into his very old age. In fact, almost into his 90s, he used to race his elderly brother-in-law to random locations in mobility scooters. There were no GoPros for Ray, but he lived adventure. So it depends on you, your age, your situation and your need as to what adventure means. For me, I have it down to the following, and that's just for me, you understand. I live in the United Kingdom, so this is a kind of list for a United Kingdom adventurous motorcycle requirement. But this bike fulfills more or less. Of course, there's always a compromise. It's not an enduro machine, which I think some people confuse with adventure bike. And if I lived in another place, then no doubt the list would change. My criteria are city, motorway, B roads and tracks. It should also be able to carry equipment, but be light. It should be comfortable, but also have excitement. And I find Ludwig can do all of this. As his limitations, of course, that would be true off-road or a true track bike at the other extreme. I could do both of these, but it'd be pushing things a little beyond that which I would be comfortable with. I prefer to fall off as little as possible these days. I did all that in my youth. Right. So, steadily to the top, and if you can't make it, or I feel it's a bit too edgy, turn around. In that regard, the fueling and modes ensure that you can usually find a combination to give you what you want. Perhaps off-road mode, turn off the ABS if you wish, or stick it into rally for full throttle blasting. Or, for a bit of relaxed momentum, leave it in rain mode, let the ABS and the traction control sort out any issues and be confident. If they actually kick in, you don't hardly notice. Certainly not compared to my old Africa Twin, which certainly let you know. It's still a little revvy compared to, say, true chuggers like the Royal Enfield Himalayan perhaps, but there's enough flexibility that you usually can find what you need. Kaiser Wilhelm, in a video that made me weep, explains the health giving aspects of riding a motorcycle better than I ever could. Some adventures can be nothing more than a country lane, which is my preferred environment actually, and when necessary, Ludwig will out accelerate and leave behind any black dog. So, it's an adventure bike, to suit me at least. <laughs>